People are suffering in Gaza. They are surrounded. But why do I have to heal? They'll make it out. I have to deal with my own family. Because my father was a great str struggler. My mother used to give Sadaka. So we think because of our family that it is all right, but we are being deluded. Never forget the story of Noah alayhi salam. His own son turned against him. Look at the case of Ibrahim alayhi salam. His father, his father was an idol maker, turned against him. Lut alayhi salam, his wife turned against him. And so your family, this is not enough. Your generation, because you speak a certain language, you come from a certain part of the world, that is not enough now. We are being deluded and should be involved in consistent action. Some people have good deeds and bad deeds. They think that their good deeds will be enough for them. They make istighfar a hundred times after Salat al-Fajr. And they think that because they've, they've made their istighfar, they count their things. They, they, they go to Mecca and they count, okay, now I'm in the masjid, uh, uh, Masjid al-Haram in Mecca, that's a hundred thousand times. And then I'm praying a Jamaat prayer, uh, that's time 27. And then I'm on Hajj, and they start multiplying things up. So I must have about uh, two billion uh, hasanat. Uh, so now I can go home, I can do what I want. I can swear, drink some alcohol, fornicate, because I got two billion hasanat. So like my scale is going to be so heavy on one side that you know, I can do what I want because you know, it's still not tipping up. He is being deluded. He's being fooled. He thinks that he is successful. But the shaitan, well, Iyadu Billah, has, 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 has scooped him up and has taken him off the path. Other people, they're even in a deeper situation. And this is something that we need to study. Go over it, over and over again. Try to understand what is happening to us in this section. There are some people who study the books and they know about deception. They can tell you but they don't apply it to themselves. They will tell you all the verses, all the ayahs, but they don't do it themselves. They just intellectually know it. And they, don't, they forget that Allah says, uh, when He speaks to us about the soul, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَاهَا That the one who is successful is the one who purifies his soul. And the one who, who, who leaves his soul that is the person who will be unsuccessful, and that is the person who will be defeated. And so it is action. It's not enough to say it. Then we have another group that's even deeper than that. We have another group who claim uh, that you should not only say it, but you should do it. And they talk about action, and they will do some of the things, but they don't apply it completely to their hearts. They leave their heart alone. They practice Islam on the outside and you will see them. They will make Salat first in line. They will fast in Ramadan. They will have the clothes of Islam. They will have the appearance. They claim to be the successful Muslims, but he's jealous. He's jealous of you. He has this evil spirit. He looks at you and instead of trying to find you know, some, some way to, to, to help you, he's trying to find out what's wrong with you. Brother, your, your, your pants are too long. Your beard. Ah, sister, there's a little hair sticking out of your, of your, your kima, sister. This is not right. And they will look for faults that you're doing. And, and instead of uh, giving you nasiha to support you, you find something wrong with your brother and your sister, and you try to help them, they will use it against you to try to bring you down. This person is also deluded. A person on the path who thinks that they, they're 100% Muslim, but they are being deluded. And, and a, a person who doesn't even look like them, who may seem like a simple person, that person may be the one on the path. The real awliya is not necessarily the ones with the long tobes and the giant uh, hats and turbans and, 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 and all the things. The real awliya is probably the person who's sweeping the masjid. He's a simple person. You don't even know this person. You walk by him. But that's the person that gets up in the morning and cleans the masjid and makes the adhan and wakes everybody up. That is the wali. 
That is the person that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. But we will not look at that person because we want the fame and the glory. Right? We want the hype. And, and, and so this is delusion. And this state of delusion can actually reach movement people. It can actually uh, reach people who are on the path, who are striving and spending their time learning about Islam. There are other cases the ulama talk about. There are people who will spend their time, they will spend their time studying and studying Islam, and they will study nahu and sarf. They will study the different details about grammar and, and, and takhrij al-huruf and, and how to pronounce uh, uh, the Qur'an and they will read the Qur'an uh, beautifully but they don't put it into practice. And the Prophet ﷺ said the time would come when people would read the Qur'an in melodious tones and it would not reach their hearts, would not pass their throats. And so by not passing their throats it does not 